YouTube, what's going on? Manny here dropping another video for you guys. Um, this video is going to be a different fading technique that I've been using. I used to use this uh, technique a lot before, um, maybe a couple years ago, and then I just kind of got away from it. And then um, with working at the shop that I work at now, man, I work with a talented, talented group of barbers, man. I work with uh, S Craft Blends, um, I got Shannon. Um, Basio works here, uh, you know, when he's shooting his videos for his YouTube tutorials. Um, I got Kendricks, uh, Nate, Lito, Lex, Matt, Gifted Hands. Um, and we're loaded, we're loaded with talent, man. And from watching uh, S Craft, you know, do this technique, I kind of got back to it, man. And what it is, it's just a fading down technique, and it honestly is probably the simplest way to fade um but you just gotta kind of understand how you want to go ahead and do it um you gotta kind of know where you want the guards to be so what i did is i started with the three guard towards the uh parado ridge and up towards the top of the head the round of the head i started closed and then i opened up the whole way um until i get got to kind of where i want to leave off um which was like right at the round of the head. Now I've got the two guard on and I'm right underneath that and I was using uh, it closed to open. Now I've got the one and a half guard. As you can see, I'm closed here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and work my way open, fading right underneath that. Um, blending into the where the two was and even um, where the three is. Like right there is where I had my three and you can see there's a little dark area so I had to kind of blend into that. But this is um, a simple technique um, this isn't that much of a tutorial. I just kind of want to give you a breakdown of what it is that I'm doing in the video. Um, I'm going to give you guys a more detailed tutorial, you know, kind of slow things down for you guys a, a bit so you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm doing. But in all honesty, man, this is like probably the easiest way to fade because you're not putting any hard guidelines in. It's just more of learning where it is that you want the fade to be so if you want a mid fade you know there's a specific like you know place where you want to start your your guides and and i shouldn't even call them guides but where you want to start fading down um if you want a low fade you know it's, it's the same thing you know you just kind of drop it a little lower if you want it a little higher you can do the same thing um but as you can see here he's getting a, a one on the side and the technique that I just used, everything falls right into place. Um, and you can see, like, towards the front of the hairline, uh, it looks like it might be a little patched. It's not patched. What it is is that I'm going to use a four guard to blend that in. Um, so I started with the three, and then he didn't want to take much hair off the top. He didn't want to take anything off the top, honestly. He used to actually have uh longer hair up top it wasn't super curly but it was just a little a bit longer and he wants to kind of get back to that so i'll blend right there you can see if you look towards the front of the hairline it looks like there's almost a little line but i'll take a four guard to that and i'll blend that right in so now i've got my one closed and i'm just going to go ahead and just pretty much gut the bottom out and you can see the fade is there already man like it's when i'm telling you this is like probably the simplest way to fade there's I mean there's no easier way that I've seen because you're not putting any guidelines in so you're basically just working your fade from the beginning of the cut as opposed to setting in a guideline fading that out setting in the next guideline fading that out you're starting you're starting to fade right away so I'm gonna like I said this isn't a tutorial I just wanted to kind of give you a breakdown of what I was doing um, but coming up here the next you know couple videos that i'm going to be doing i'm going to give you guys a very detailed breakdown and to be honest with you i i think this is going to be the technique that i continuously use so i don't think i'll be dropping any um other content in regards to other techniques um i used the four there as you can see it blended that right on in um yeah but as far as using other techniques i think i'm just going to kind of you know steer away from those and just because of my goal with this with my channel is to get you guys to cut as well as possible um you know you guys are learning daily i'm doing the same thing 
so you know my goal is to get you guys to cut as as clean and, and be as as knowledgeable as I can possibly um, show you guys and teach you guys and you know with using this technique I, I've realized that this is honestly the simplest way to do it and get the best result for me um, and this is what I want to show you guys so I'm gonna stick to this technique this will be the technique that I you know focus on from here on out um, you know and I mean this is this is just this is gonna be it so you know uh, any other video that I drop from here is gonna be more about details and and less about technique I will drop you know haircut videos but you guys are gonna know the technique already so it'll just be more of a visual for you guys to follow but what I want to do is I want to get detailed about what it is that I'm doing I want to you know I've had people request um, that I use, you know, or that I do a video on, you know, the lever and, and how to use the uh, the lever and, and what uh, what spots to use it in, and you know whether it's open or closed or you know where where I should be using that at. So I'm gonna go ahead and do videos on that. I'm gonna do videos on, um, you know, hairline, how to how to prepare the hairline, how to shape it up. How to do color enhancements i've had a lot of questions about color enhancements and so a lot of my videos coming up are going to be um you know just more detail work and you know that type of stuff so you know i mean if there's anything else that you guys do want to see you know drop them comments let me know um but like i said from here on out i think i'm just gonna, i'm gonna stick to because i want you guys to to really grasp a, a technique that works and works well and is easy and this is a very very easy technique so you know this is going to be what i do from here on out is use this technique um you know and if you guys have questions about the technique feel free to drop a comment let me know you guys can uh you know get in get on my instagram if you guys want i'll, I'll plug that in here too get on my instagram and um you know shoot me a dm or something i try to get back to everybody as you know as promptly as i can so shoot me a you know a message dm me let me know what's up and i you know i'll try to answer it as, as as well as i can um i appreciate you guys thank you guys for the continuous support you know always showing love you know it was greatly appreciated and you know i'm gonna be dropping so much more content so please be on the lookout for it and like I said, you know, if there's anything you guys want to see, just let me know and I will definitely try to get to it. Thank you guys very much and I'll be back uh, shortly with, with another video. Appreciate you guys.